going to blow all of you monkeys away! <laughs> And huge thanks to Drees for reprising his role as Frieza. He always does great with Frieza. Sounds just like him. And I hope you guys enjoyed the stop motion. It was a very quick one to do. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I can produce this video by tonight. And, yeah, this figure is not bad. It looks great on the shelf. You guys already know how I feel about the articulation, so I'm not going to keep complaining in every single video because I'm pretty sure all of you guys are going to get tired if I keep complaining of about these figures but yeah in hand it doesn't look that bad in the box it definitely looks badass so yeah there you have it. what we're gonna do is take this figure off the stand take a good look at the box take a good look at the accessories and then take a good look at this figure and if you haven't noticed i'm doing the back backdrop black backdrop because it's kind of hard to see the figure with the super saiyan hair so yeah i gotta have some contrast but here you have it Windows saw packaging like always with the four wrap letters saying Super Saiyan Bardock and Dragon Stars. Nothing at the top, nothing at the bottom. Window on the side, you got an artwork of Bardock on this side, which is pretty cool. And all the figures that you can get aligned, which we have all of 18. Now just waiting for the release of 17. So let's get it to the damn figure. And here we have all the Bardocks to date. We have the one on the right figure as standard, then Dragon Stars still waiting on SH figure arts, and then you have Dragon Stars Frieza to your left. Uh, they do scale quite well with each other. Uh, the one on figure arts is definitely a way bulkier version. But yeah, there you have it for comparison. So before we go into the figure, we do have the extra hands that he always comes with, which is these generic gripping hands that we always get. In the package so nothing too special and looking at the two figures itself you can tell that this is a face the same sculpt just a uh, different color skin this skin is more on the darker tan and this was on the lighter tan obviously because of the super saiyan but looking at the paint job in the armor this one's more like a darker and this one's more like a lighter. You can see the blue. It's a little bit lighter. Just a tad bit. The pants are exactly the same. The gauntlets and the boots are exactly the same. So getting into the figure itself. Looking at his likeness. Uh, heavy on the eyeliner. Uh, yeah. You got the scar. It's somewhat sculpted. Like a generic soft sculpt and paint. And yeah, it's just a very generic face. And the hair is sculpted nicely. It's more like a... It's not quite matte, but it's close to matte hair. And then you have the bandana on the back. The rest of the skin tone is just a pale white. Oh, sorry, pale tan. Yeah. Not nothing too different on the figure. If you're wondering about art articulation, he does not look up at all. He looks side to side. He uh, does a pivot, a little pivot going down, but not that much. His arm does go up about that high. He has a bicep swivel. He has double jointed elbows, which only go about that much. He has a hinge and a swivel at the wrist. Uh. No ab crunch, and if you're wondering, it's just like the first version, 
uh, when you put it, pull it apart, this is a more pliable material. You can bend it, just place it on top like so, and uh, ah, close it. And then his legs go about that high, then it starts to venture off to the side. But if you want him to do a squat, that's all you're gonna get. Squat wise, it's not that. It's not that much. It's barely anything. Ugh. He can do the splits about that much, which is not that much. Uh, he can kick back about that much. He has double jointed knees, but only go about that much. And then he has a hinge and a swivel and a pivot, depending on where the hinge is at the ankle. So yeah, this figure is a repeat, definitely, of the first one. Nothing too special with this guy. Just we have him in Super Saiyan. And in the end, I do have the two barks standing side by side by each other, or front and back to back from each other. And yeah, they look great. They look okay. Uh, not too much to complain about. Like I said, I already done a lot of my complaining and griping in the other videos, so I do not want to repeat myself. Yes, the articulation is kind of bad in the legs. I wish they will update that soon. A lot of companies, I mean... People love to make excuses for these guys, but you know what? You have to give other companies credit. Hasbro and McFarlane, they're all killing it with the articulation and the detail. It's very detailed, sculpted, and high, highly articulated for a $20 range figure. So Bandai America has no excuse to do the same for $20 as well. So I really hope that they will get on the ball as well and give us better sculpts, better articulation. Um, I do like that they are filling up the roster very quickly for the Dragon Stars line. As you know, in the World Tournament box, there is the whole entire lines of the figures, and there's quite a bunch. I didn't realize how many characters we have in Dragon Stars. Maybe I should do a video because I do have all of them and see how many figures we actually have for Dragon Stars. But that would be a huge mess in my room as well. So, yeah, if you haven't had the time yet, Check out Dries on Instagram. Give him a follow. He did phenomenal as Frieza. And follow me on Instagram. Kenny Boys Toys with a Z in the middle. I'm always posting pictures before the videos. And I'm quite more active on Instagram than YouTube. And yeah, if you're not like this video, subscribe to my channel yet. I suggest you do for I'm always posting up cool content like these. Thanks for watching, guys. And have a great day.